Hi everyone, welcome back to Carb Spice. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate you guys looking at my videos and supporting me and sharing my content. As the title suggests, this video is all about squats. So I did regular squats and I also did some front squats. And on my leg day, my first leg day of the week, that was a total of eight squats, eight sets of squats. So um, that wasn't my entire workout. That was just eight sets of squats. And then I did some accessory exercises. I wanted to feature my hubby as well. Most of the times he's in the background taking footage for you guys. So here he is. Um, I included one clip from his front squats. I didn't want to be too long. And I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you leave me a comment and a like at the end. And also, um, I hope you share the video. I apologize. My husband didn't realize I was recording. I didn't really intend to record this, but I decided to include it anyways. He'll move in a second. Um, but this is my warm-up set. I'm now warming up with 45-pound plates. Yeah, he actually realized I was recording. Um, it's not a big deal, guys, but this is my warm-up set. And here I was working and focusing on my depth. I've gotten really good at that. And also going parallel. Um, that is just to hit my quads as best as possible. So after about 10 reps, I wasn't even counting, but after about 10 reps, I moved on to um, heavier sets. So my increments were, I you know, 45s. I started with the 45 pound plates, then I added on five pounds on each side or 10 pounds, then 25s, and then I added on another 45 pound plate. So what I realized is <laughs> when I do not do something consistently, I go back to square one. This set right here was not my best set at all. I have not done um, a total of four plates in a long time. I'm not kidding. It's been months and it showed. I felt it. I somewhat struggled through it and I learned from it. So what's going to happen from now on is that I'm going to keep working um, with this weight. Okay, I'm going to keep working at my strength, keep working at this, and you will see the improvement. But um, <laughs> on my first rep here, I, I was basically surprised at how behind I actually got. So I'm not going to make it a big deal. It's really a, a lesson. Um, my husband gave me a very good spot. He was not holding me at all. And for some reason, when he's back there, I do feel that security. I feel safe, like I'm not going to fall. It's definitely a psychological thing. But I do have some work to do. And this wasn't terrible. Because there are many people who cannot even do this. But it really wasn't my best. And that is because I was not working with this weight for a while. So I'm back at it. I'm going to fix it and you're going to see some improvements. Alright, and after regular squats, um, we continued with uh, some front squats. I am trying this. I'm always going to be holding the bar like this, arms straight out. I was so skeptical, guys. But when I saw my friend um, Jay Timo, I'm gonna link his channel below and also put it up right now so you guys can check him out. I decided, you know what, why not? This is not about ego lifting, it's not about doing something just to do it. This is about improving, um, you know, workout. And I have greater balance, my husband had greater balance with your arms straight out, and I was able to get. Uh, a greater depth doing squats that way because usually I'll hold the bar cross my arms and hold the bar to my neck uh, my husband tried this for the very first time as well you know and you can tell you know it was kind of we had to figure out a couple of things you know in terms of placing the bar it was close to the neck but by the time we did the second set it was a lot better so 
we love this we really really love this we're happy we tried it and my husband is also very happy he tried this and I think from now on he's gonna stick with arms out but I can only get better we can only get better as we go so thanks Jetimo for the demonstration and try this guys if you haven't and then I was feeling a little bit ambitious so I decided to try it with 45 pounds I would have never been able to do this probably with my arms crossed but that is what I'm saying guys go ahead and try something um, even if you think it's probably gonna be a disaster go ahead and try it in place just make sure you have someone to give you a spot and my gosh I was actually surprised I was able to execute this as well as I did my second rep and um, from then on everything got a lot better so that's it thank you guys for watching I was laughing at the end there because I guess I felt successful and I was just really happy with it all right bye Thank <laughs> you.